Take 527. So it's about three weeks before Baby Bambi makes an appearance and we just wanted to do something to celebrate. So we did consider holding a baby shower, but decided to do something a bit different for a number of reasons. Firstly, we weren't sure it was your cup of tea. Um, secondly, there's a global pandemic, which to be honest, we can't be blamed for. Um, thirdly, you've got family in different time zones across the world, so it makes it quite difficult to get everyone all together at the same time. But the fourth and main reason, to be honest, is the fact that me, Fee and Zoe have found out we're horrendous at organising anything at all. Um, we did eventually find a date which we thought would work for everyone, um, which most people can make, apart from you, who we didn't realise had an NCT um, meeting at the time that we'd organised. So we decided to quit whilst we were ahead, um, after a few other disasters as well, um, and instead um, create a video for you with little messages from friends and family uh, before the baby arrives. Um, particularly as we know that everyone, of course, loves hearing and seeing themselves on film. So here's a few messages from your friends and family. We love you to pieces. We cannot wait um, to see the baby and um, are so, so ridiculously happy for you and Mark. You will make the most amazing parents. Being a parent is the best thing I've ever done, um, particularly as you get to dress your baby in stupid outfits like this. She's a pumpkin. It is Halloween, to be honest. This isn't just sort of a normal day. Um, but no, it's very the very best thing in the world. Um, and you'll enjoy absolutely every minute. You'll be given lots of tips and advice from people. Some people have left some lovely bits of advice on their messages here. You also get people who will tell you what you should do. And, and for those people, just say, ah, that's a good idea. And then just ignore it and do your own thing completely. So enjoy the messages, um, good luck with everything and we cannot wait to see you. Hey Jem, just wanting to say how excited I am for you and Mark, just about to start this new chapter in your life and not long to actually get to meet your baby girl. So it's super exciting. Um, there are some highs and lows of becoming a parent, but the highs absolutely outweigh those few moments where you're really tired and it all just seems a bit much. Um, there's not a day that goes by that my girls don't make me laugh or amaze me in one way or another. So it's all, all absolutely worth it. Um, but you and Mark will find your way together and um, work it out and realize there's no book that tells you everything that you need to know but you've got lots of friends and family around you that can guide the way and give you some advice that you decide to listen to or not listen to. Um, one bit of advice though is take loads of photos and videos because it is a cliche but they do grow up really quick and it's so nice to look back at those moments and remember how diddy they once were. Um, so loads of love from us um, down in Devon and we will see all three of you soon. Bye. Happy baby shower, Jax. Um, sorry we can't be there on the call with you, um, but we thought we would do a little video um, to share some memories of you growing up. So we have three little stories about you and we're going to um, ask your friends to guess which one isn't true. No. So, uh, Mum, do you want to start off? I certainly will. I certainly will. Hi, Jay. Um, Lots of love from mum, and I just want to say that I can remember when you were born, uh, we went up to stay with Auntie Sally and Uncle Paul, and Anna wouldn't speak to me for three days. She, <laughs> she adopted Auntie Sally as her, as her mother, which was a bit hard, really. <laughs> anyway. Betrayed. <laughs> So that's story number one. Sorry. So Anna. So the second story um, of Gemma when she was younger is I was tasked with having to look after her whilst mum and dad were having a chat in the kitchen. And um, I was too busy watching telly and I turned around, dad came back in and Gemma had taken off her nappy and done a poo on top of the sofa and a poo on his jacket and a poo somewhere else as well. And I got in trouble for that. Really unfair. <laughs> Over to Rose. <laughs> I don't think I could top that. Um, <laughs> ah, but is it true? <laughs> so, 
<laughs> so the third story that I remember from from when we were growing up is that Anna and I rather cruelly <laughs> used to wind Gemma up by telling her that she was a boy called Peter uh, who was adopted. <laughs> so those are the three stories and I don't know if you want to pause, pause the video and have a little chat amongst yourselves to work out which one is which. Um, and yeah. And um, when you unpause it we will reveal. Pause. <laughs> Okay, the big reveal. Mum, are you ready to reveal which story is in fact true? I don't know which story is true. All of them are true. <laughs> Gemma, all of those stories about Gemma are true. All of them. <laughs> Amazingly, they're all true. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, um, also, also we, we, we did want us to share some photos of Gemma. Um, but Gemma has all of her photos, so <laughs> if you want to see some, uh, Gemma, you'll have yeah, to... Uh, you're going to have to get them, you, to... you, you hold the whole cache. <laughs> Gemma has the family library, so, yeah. <laughs> Hello! Here's <laughs> Hattie. <laughs> say happy, say happy to baby shower, Auntie Jack. Happy baby shower, Auntie Jack. <laughs> um, All right. Well, um, have a lovely uh, party. And, um, <laughs> have a lovely party, and we will see you very soon. Bye. Love you lots, Jax. Hi, Jax. Hi, Jax. Mark. So looking forward to the 19th of November. It's so exciting. Can't wait. Sending lots of love. Bye. Bye. Hi, Jim. Uh, so very annoying that COVID means we can't all get together and celebrate the impending arrival of your new baby. I know it's been such a journey for you and um, we are all very excited in the Milden household to meet baby girl. Uh, soon you will be rocking the mum bun, just like me, with uh, baby snuggling in uh, to breast. This one's got the hiccups at the moment. <laughs> um, but there'll be lots of baby snuggles in your future, and I can't wait to meet her. We're very excited. Congratulations. Uh, look after yourself in these last few weeks, and we will see you soon. Yay, bye. Hi, Jen. Just want to say congratulations. The 19th won't be too far away and you'll be able to get to hold your little lady very soon. Um, I just want to pass on some top tips that I've learned along the way of being a mum of three and they might help you on your journey too. So first top tip, be careful wearing black. As soon as you start wearing black and holding a baby, you're going to get sick all over that shoulder. Make sure you've got plenty of muslins because sick does not come out very well. Uh, Two, have plenty of snacks and drinks in your feeding room because you're going to be in there quite a lot in the night unless you've got a unicorn baby, which would be amazing. Uh, three, shower caps. Have some shower caps in the bottom of your pram or your push chair. So when you go out and it's raining or it's muddy, put some shower caps on your wheels and you save getting the boot of your car or the hallway of your house all dirty and wet. And finally, stock up on plenty of this bad boy it's dirt cheap find it in home bargains b and m and it's so good at getting baby poo out of onesies and also when you start weaning getting food stains out of clothes highly highly recommend so once again congratulations i can't wait to meet her i know it all goes brilliantly see you soon bye Say bye bye Hi Jim, sending you lots of love and wishing you well with the rest of your pregnancy. I know people are going to give you all sorts of advice and tips and everything else. Um, all I'll say is follow your gut. Always, always follow your gut and tell Mark, mum knows best. <laughs> lots of love. Hey Jim, um, it's all getting a bit close now isn't it? I've just realised you've got a terrible bogey nose. <laughs> and this is what motherhood is. Um, yeah. Just wanted to say good luck with it all, <laughs> and I hope um, everything goes well for you. Obviously, we won't see you before then, so let us know if you need anything. And 
yeah, we can't wait to see you on the other side and to meet Ripley and, um, yeah, to see you in your love bubble. It's going to be great. Um, yeah, but good luck. Hopefully I'll speak to you soon and we'll see you soon. Hi Gemma, hi Mark. Not long now until your new arrival is here. So I just wanted to send you a little message to wish you lots of luck for the big day. Um, it's a very exciting journey. Um, not going to lie, there's definitely some days where you will be feeling very tired. Just have a look at my eye bags here. Um, doesn't get any better Gemma I'm afraid. I think we've definitely aged a little bit since having Theo. Um, but it's all worth it in the end. Um, we know that you will be absolutely brilliant parents. Um, if you need anything at all, you know where we are. If we can offer any bits of advice, um, we'll try our best. Uh, any bits of advice? Drink lots of coffee, Mark. Keep smiling. It's, it's great fun. <laughs> um, any words of advice, Theo? <laughs> uh, uh, no, but he had, gave you a little smile to just show that it is all worth it and um, you'll be absolutely brilliant. So good luck with everything. Hope it all goes well and we can't wait to new, meet the new arrival. Bye. Hey, PF. Although I don't feel I should call you PF anymore. It feels a little bit wrong now you're going to be a mummy, but you'll always be PF to me. Um, just a quick message to say, uh, sending you lots of luck uh, for the arrival of your baby. Um, hope you enjoy every second other than the poo explosions and sleepless nights and, you know, all that fun stuff. But um, sending you lots and lots of love. Can't wait to see pictures. Um, hope you're doing really well. Bye. Hi, Jen. Just a message from me to wish you and Mark all the best um, with the safe arrival of Ripley. Really pleased for you both. Really excited um, to finally um, hopefully get to meet her soon. Um, I know this is not the ideal time to be having a baby in a pandemic. Um, and obviously means that unfortunately um, we haven't been able to get everyone together um, as much as I'm sure you love a baby shower. Um, but one good thing that's come from it means that there are no baby photos that are going to appear of you. Um, I think you've already been subjected to that on your wedding day um, when somehow we managed to uh, slip through the net. Um, a photo of you with your poof out uh, for the whole world to see and it was obviously uh, displayed at the wedding. Um, so no chance of that and I understand from Rose that you now have ownership of all the family photos so probably to avoid anything like that happening again in the future. Um, but anyway, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed all these little videos that we put together for you um, and hopefully everyone will get to meet Ripley in person um, after she's born. Um, and also just another little side note, um, obviously me, Lauren and Fiona have done such an amazing job on this baby shower and it all coming together so smoothly. Please do let anyone you know, any C NCT class, you know, any future christenings, bar mitzvahs, weddings, obviously just pass on our number because it's just been so smoothly run. Um, but on a serious note, wish you both all the best. Can't wait to finally meet her um, and love to you both.